back up at the plot on quite a nice day uh, this is what I'm going to be growing or planting today some raspberries uh, autumn bliss uh, never grown this variety before chose it because it's a bush rather than a, uh, a cane I've grown canes before and I found them to be a bit of a pain to be honest this you just plant and let it grow it forms a bush, there's less maintenance, less hassle, and come autumn I should be picking, where is it, those bad boys there. Right, they come in a bag like that, uh, bought from my local garden centre. I'll get them out, I'll get them soaking for an hour because I've got to prepare the ground for a bit before I get them in. Uh, they probably should have gone in about a month ago, we're at the start of March now, but because the weather was so, so wet, um, I couldn't risk it because raspberries don't like very wet soil, they like it kind of free draining, and as my plot is on a bit of a slope, it should be okay for them. Anyway, only time will tell, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. Okay, once I took the raspberry canes out of the bag, I soaked them for about an hour and I've just been preparing the ground. I've dug a trench in one of the beds and I'm going to put three canes in that trench and then two canes in the other bed that I've been uh, preparing. So that's what they look like once they come out the bag. Okay, here's the trench that I've dug. I'm going to put three of the canes in there. The black stuff at the bottom is the, uh, the soil and the compost that the, was in the actual black polythene bag that they came in um, it's got some slow release fertilizer in there I should have brought my own up and sprinkled some in the trench but it's too late now I need to get them in um, at the end of the little um, bed here is my rhubarb so I've given it a bit of space before I put the first cane because the rhubarb will when it eventually um, grows it will spread its wings so to speak and take up quite a bit of space so I've uh, I'm going to position the first cane there and that should be enough for rhubarb and raspberry cane. There you go, that's where it is in relation to the actual plot. There's the second bed that I'm preparing. I'm going to dig the trench in a minute and plant the last two canes in there. And in relation to the plot, that's where we are. We come down and this is going to be the two fruit beds. Alright, I'll get on with it. Okay, here's the first raspberry cane. I hope you can see that. It's going in at a depth of about four to five inches. That's what it recommends. Here we go. Here's the second one, going in at the same depth. And finally, the third. I hope you can get that.
Okay, the season's up and running in the allotment. Raspberry canes are in. It's not an impressive start, but it's a start. Nonetheless, those three are in. I also pruned about, I would say, four to five inches off the top, as recommended by the growing instructions. And here are the other two. That cane there actually broke. And there's the other. So 2014, the first items in the plot are my raspberry canes. Right, I'm off home now. I'll see you next time.